Why are you gay? Hey, what's going on, my peeps? I'm bringing you another GPU repair video. This is actually one of my favorite looking graphics cards, just by, you know, the cooler speaking. Uh, very nice. This is actually a 3090. But today, I want to bring up something to your attention. Um, what overclocking your GPU does, okay, or can do. See those shunt resistors there, burnt. Power failure. And that brings this puppy here. A top MOSFET there. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you guys what I mean. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's got a bulge on it. There, I think that, yeah, I think that's a good representation there. Okay, so we're going to be removing that puppy today and uh, putting on a new one. And I, th I think, I think I have it. I don't think so. Well, we'll find out here in a second. All right, but the first thing we need to do is we need to get some shunt resistors. And uh, we have a donor board here that we can use. This one has got two good ones that we're going to strip off of it. And since shunt resistors are in need, I ran out. I'm going to have to start stripping off of other donor boards. Um, yeah, I will be pretty busy here for a while. Uh, that's double stacked there. So there's more. So there's these here and then the ones at the bottom and then some here. And yeah. And then I got uh, a few over there that I got, a, they're questionable, so I have to put those there. But um, these are all high value cards. These are all like, eh, mediocre. Those are all high value. But uh, there are these here that looks like somebody was hungry. Somebody was hungry and took a chunk off of them. These are a no fix, but I can use them for parts. Uh, this one's got a crack at the PCB. You cannot see it, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Let me see. It's a crack right there. Um, you can probably see it here. Let's see. And this is 6900 XT, by the way. And I, I love this reference uh, uh, coolers, man. They look so cool, but yeah. So these here go in the back burner. I have to uh, I'll put those last, you know. Uh, priorities are these cards here and those there. So, yeah, and I got a stack there of donors that are just dead cores uh, from there and just horribly catastrophic power failures or beyond repair PCBs, that sort of deal. That's all in that box. So, all right, let's get some shunt resistors. In case you guys didn't really see that up close, uh, obviously you can't with this phone uh, and magnification, but that's what that shunt resistor looks like there. That's this one here. Um, yeah. And where's the other one? This one here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to be replacing these three. Uh, this one here at the bottom is doing okay, so I'll, we won't be worrying about those. Uh, there's two at the bottom there, so I don't know why they have so many uh, but um, yeah, so Yeah, we'll be doing that. Right, we got the old caps or Resistors <laughs> shunt resistors removed um, I managed to farm a Few of them wait a minute. What are you doing here you little? Judas Get out of here. Anyway, so Let's get to it. All righty, we got our new resistors in place. Time to replace this little bucker here and take the cart for a spin. Yeah, 3090, why not? <music>
All right, so after some struggle there to get that MOSFET off, we finally got it. It's a little trick that I use sometimes to just twist instead of pulling up because if you pull up, you rip the pad off or you know you reveal the crater under the face. And this thing here, um, let's see if we can take a look and I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this thing here, wanted to bring that pad you see that little mark right there that's the hole on this face and if you pull up you will rip that pad right off so a method that i've um implemented of you know uh, it's to kind of twist remove the smds around it and just twist it off instead of pulling it right right up and that seems to work about nine out of ten times that i try this sometimes it's just real bad and no matter what you do there's just going to be a crater there and beyond damage so but anyway okay let's put the new face on already well the card is uh, put back together um, it's gotten its new uh, shunt resistors and a new MOSFET now let's see what happens when we uh, turn it on and by the way um, Ah, man, this is such a great looking graphics card. So I made this video for the whole, uh, the sole purpose of just advising you guys, just an advice, don't overclock your graphics cards, man. Just leave them alone. Leave your stuff alone because uh, uh, that that you saw there, that's due to uh, catastrophic failure, you know, power failure. And that's usually related to the card uh, being given more power than the uh, faces can handle. That's when you when you overvolt the cards to get that extra oomph. Well, yeah, it's gonna go from oomph to poof. So, all right, let's throw it in the system and see how it does. All right, so the little card powered on. Man, look at that. <laughs> uh, I'm a sucker for these things. All right, let's see if we get an image. Hey, look at me, I'm in the background. Yeah, okay. Yep, all right. And I already have a 3090 driver um, installation on here, so it shouldn't have to go and detect anything because uh, I've been working through this pile here and that pile over there and that pile over there. So, oh, here we go, okay, cool. It detected, it loaded up the driver. Let's see here, device manager. Da, 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 da. Okay, 3090, right on. Let's look at the sensors. So yeah, this video is just for you overclockers out there. <laughs> uh, oh man, 3090, okay, all sensors are there, everything's detected. Let's get this to the side here. And let's do the uh, fur ball. Whenever there's a catastrophic power failure, this is the one thing that I test for. Yep. Uh, that's enough. It would have failed already by now. And see, ooh, hmm. let's try Valley Benchmark. Okay, so far so good. All clocks are there, temperatures are looking good. So we call this one a fix. Beautiful little card, uh, but just as easily as that is looking at it and admiring it you can also screw it up man by overclocking your <laughs> your gpu and then having it sent to uh, some guy in norway or us or russia or germany whatever for fixing so yeah take care of your stuff don't be silly